What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with brand new action figure news, and it's actually refreshing because we do have a new updated look into the new AEW action figures that are coming soon. Now, I know that Jeremy posted a Twitter not too long ago. I want to say it was maybe a week or two back, and he did say that we we're going to be getting some new news or something like that, but we really hadn't seen anything. But now we do have kind of an update, and we have some like new figures to show off here that I'm really excited about to show you guys. So let's go ahead and dive into it, man. Today, we're taking a look at an exclusive. We have a chase announcement. And we have AEW Unmatched Series number 8, which looks pretty damn good. I think overall it looks pretty damn good, but we're going to dive into it, man. Let's dive into the images, get into the drama around it, and just kind of see what's going on, man. Let's start things off first with AEW Unmatched Series number 8. Now, I think there's only like six figures in the set, or maybe five figures in the set, but I think the quality is better than the quantity here, so let's go ahead and dive into it, man. Starting out first, we have the Luminaries AEW Unmatched Series number 8 CM Punk figure. Now, this is going to be CM Punk's last figure. I don't think that Supreme Collection series number four is going to be coming anytime soon. I, I think that figure is long gone. Of course, we can await his ultimate editions, his his elite figures, his top picks figures, his basics. They're going to be pumping CM Punk out like it's going out of style in WWE Mattel action figure form. But as far as AEW action figures are concerned, this unmatched series eight Luminaries Punk will be the last one, I'm pretty sure. But you guys can see here, now we only have the one still shot, so we're going to have to get creative here and kind of dive into all the different lore here. But we do have a look at the packaging a little bit, and then we have the figure figure here, and this is a version of Punk from Ring of Honor that I've wanted in action figure form for a really long time, especially from an official company. Of course, we had the Blood and Guts ringside exclusive dog color match CM Punk with MJF, which kind of played on that, but it wasn't his long blonde hair or his longer hair look, but we do have a look here at the photo of the figure, and I like it. I like what's going on right here. He's got his jacket with the crossbones on it. He has his yellow shorts on there. He's got interchangeable hands, and he does come with a Ring of Honor microphone, which I think is also really cool. Now, a lot of people are critiquing the head sculpt of this figure, and yeah, it's not the best angle of all time. It kind of has like a Colin Farrell look. Like Colin Farrell looks like CM Punk anyways, so I think that works. But if you don't like this head sculpt, you could always get one of the long-haired Mattel ones and paint it yellow or blonde if you didn't like this head sculpt. I think you could easily do that, and it would probably look pretty good. However, I, like we have this one kind of blurry, weird angle shot, but the likeness is there. I can definitely tell that it's CM Punk and whatnot, but I can't fully judge it until we get it in the review station, we break all the things down, or I have some clearer images of the figure to actually see, and sometimes these things are better in person anyway, so we'll have to see about that. However, I like this figure. I like the yellow. I like how bright it is. I love the jacket. I like the Ring of Honor microphone. I'm excited for this. I think it's a solid looking figure, but it is sad to see CM Punk go from AEW figure lines, but the, I guess the best positive we could say is that now we get it in WWE Mattel form, so it's not like we're not getting any Punk figures forever. We're going to continue to get those, so that's nice. It's just from a different umbrella, but this figure does start off pretty good. I like the look of the CM Punk figure. We'll just have to see and wait on some official images. Now, next up, we do have Penta. Now, this one's pretty interesting because he was in Unmatched Series 7, which was one series ago, so they're pumping him right back out. He's very toyetic. This is a very unique look for Penta. You guys can see here, he's got like these gauntlets going on. He's got this overthrow thing on. A very, very unique look for Penta. He's got the screaming head sculpt on there. Very unique. I mean, it's a very crazy looking figure, and every figure in this wave is pretty toyetic, which is crazy, but this is a very interesting look. It's hard to say if I'm gonna like this or not. You guys know that he does have this like entrance gear on kind of or this overthrow and while he's wrestling like that in real life it is cloth right so it would move easy it wouldn't hinder any of his movement as a wrestler but in action figure form it being this rubber overthrow thing I'm worried that the articulation of the movement of this figure is not going to be good now we again we won't be able to judge that till we get it in hand and it'll be a bunch of things but I hope that he's able to kick forward I hope that he's able to pose around that's my biggest worry with this Penta figure but it still looks good I like the silver on the gloves I like the iron looking silver silver gauntlets. I like the mask. It's very, very crazy how, how unique this is. He comes with a shovel. I mean, it's just a bunch of cool things going on with this figure. I like the way the packaging looks, and this is going to be a beautiful figure, men on card, because of the silver of the Unmatched series compared to the gold of the Unrivaled. So it should be fun. I, I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. You guys know that they, they like to pump out Pinta. Pinta has a lot of figures. Really fun to see here, but let's move on to the next one, which I know a lot of people are going to be excited about. We have the first look at a Brody King figure. Now, of course, we've seen renders of Brody King. We've seen the, this and that, but Brody King looks like a stud right here, man. Got the head sculpt going on there with the long beard. He's got his entrance
entrance garb on. He's got his mast head sculpt. He's got interchangeable hands. Tons of tattoo work right here. And the tattoos look pretty good from where I'm sitting. You guys know that he's one of the most tatted guys you'll see in a wrestling ring and nowadays. Next to Malachi. Next to Alistair slash Malachi Black. And up here, man, I mean, he is looking like a beast. I'm very excited for the Brody King. Very toy addict, of course. We're going to get into this coming up Saturday. I don't know if I'm going to do my Ultimate Editions. Should I do Top 10 AEW figures of the year? Or should I do Top 10 Ultimate Editions of the year? You can let me know down in the comment section below what you would like to see for Saturday. But Brody King looks very good. I think this is going to be a good contender for AEW figure of the year as far as details are concerned. I really hope that he's posable. You know, I'm really worried about the stomach being like kind of hindrance to his articulation because he can move around really well in the ring. So hopefully we'll be able to replicate that here. But I don't know. You know, we'll have to see about that. But the Brody King does look good. I'm excited for it. I think it looks good. Next up is probably the figure. And I know it's stupid. All right. You can let me know what you think down below. But you guys know that I love promo gears. I like when the wrestlers are in a different thing. I love suited bodies. And I love how articulated the AEW action figures are. And I can already tell that this guy has shin cut. This Malachi Black in the all black suit is so menacing and so badass. I love the way this looks. He's got two different head sculpts on there. Of course, you could probably pop on a, a Mattel head sculpt onto this guy. You could probably pop on any of his Supreme head sculpts. There's so many head sculpts that we could choose from between the Supreme, the Unmatched, the Unrivaled, the Mattels that we've seen in the past with Aleister Black. This is a sick-ass figure, and I know it's going to be super poseable. I can just tell. I can just tell the way it looks. He's got the suited jacket. Now, the ab crunch in there, not my favorite thing that AEW does with their figures, but having the double-jointed suited body and having this slim build right here that's not a winter coat, you know? Like, I've been waiting on a suited body from them that's like that slim fit, you know, athletic look. It's going to be really nice because now you could put a Finn Balor head sculpt on there. You could put a Kenny Omega head sculpt on there. And I know that you could possibly do that with some guys of the past. I think this is going to work really well for that slim body that I've been waiting on, you know, like that slim fit suit for an athletic guy like a Finn Balor and whatnot. So I'm excited for that reason. This is probably going to be one of those guys that I grab every time I see it just because I like suited bodies. I think that the, the Cody Rhodes unmatched series four figure was amazing when it came out but it was like the the winterized suit right it had like the long jacket on there which is in a traditional suit jacket this is a traditional suit jacket right here so this looks really really good i wish that it was open i think i think that would be better if it was open and had an ab crunch but i don't know i want to say i want to say what's it or is this the vest this may just be the vest or maybe not it may be just the suited jacket regardless of the fact even if it's sleeves with a vest or whatever the case is it looks good and i'm excited for for it nonetheless. I like the head sculpt and everything and I know it's going to be super posable and that makes me excited because you can black mask the hell out of people so that's good. And the last figure that we have in AEW Unmatched Series number 8 is going to be Buddy Matthews and this is a phenomenal looking head sculpt. I think this looks like Buddy Matthews. He's got his masked head sculpts and of course the good thing is we can complete our House of Black which is going to be a really unique thing and nice thing to see when you have Malachi, Brody, Buddy Matthews all up next to each other. They have all their entrance gear on. They have their masked head sculpts. They're going to look sick as hell. Um, one one thing that I was worried about with the Buddy Matthews, he has a massive chest in real life. And so I was worried because you guys know that AEW usually does, you know, exactly what their body molds look like. Look at the Brian Danielson from Series 5 of the Unmatched Wave. Remember how big they made his chest? And Trent the Trent figure from Unrivaled 8, another figure that had a massive chest, so I'm worried that this Buddy Matthews is going to have the biggest chest of all time, but that remains to be seen. You can't really see it here. It doesn't look super wide in this shot of the figure, but I like the head sculpt. I like the masked head sculpt. I, I'm looking forward to Buddy Matthews. I love Buddy Murphy. I love Buddy Matthews. I think he's a great wrestler in ring, so good in ring, so hopefully I can get this and get him to beat the hell out of my Dominic Mysterio figure. But in seriousness, I think I think that, dude, that actually sounds like a really sweet rivalry. If you did Judgment Day versus House of Black. But nonetheless, I'm really excited for this wave. I, I love it. I think this looks like a great set. Really excited for it overall. Now, one thing that's interesting about this set is that apparently there was a listing for the CM Punk figure on some website. I don't remember what website it is, but Muscle Bro Figs, my man Muscle Bro Figs posted a screenshot here. When you look up CM Punk, it says AEW Unmatched Luminaries CM Punk Action Figure Chase. So is there going to be a Chase Ring of Honor CM Punk that we do not know about? 
Is it going to be in red shorts? Is it going to be in white shorts? Definitely some things to be interested about. Now, I do think that this probably is going to be the case. Like, it hasn't been announced, I don't think. I don't think we've seen that anywhere. But this screenshot leads me to believe that there is going to be a Chase figure. And with all the listings that's been being posted, I mean, they have just been exposing these action figures. But, you know, we don't know what they look like just yet. But, you know, to know that there's a Chase Luminary CM Punk figure is kind of nice. So we get two last CM Punk figures from AEW. So if they do do a Chase, I would love to see it in the red gear. I'd love to see it in the white gear. Uh, I like the yellow mane, so that's pretty good too. So I'm, I'm all aboard any extra CM Punk figures that we get, and hopefully it looks really good when it's all said and done. And usually Chase AEW figures are either really like subtle changes or they could be completely different. So we'll have to wait and see exactly what that looks like. But the last thing that I wanted to talk about here with some AEW action figures is the Reach for the Sky Ring of Honor Briscoes that are coming here, man. And these look so damn good, man. Now, one thing that looks very unique about it is I love all the tattoo work. I like the head sculpts. I like everything that's going on here, the tag titles, like a lot of great things going on with these guys. But what I'm worried about is these uh, these pants, man. Look at these pants and tell me that that's not the thickest effing plastic you've ever seen in your life from... Look how thick this leg mold is. And then when you look at the knee to the lower leg, and when you articulate that, that is going to be the biggest hunk of plastic of all time. So that is going to be very interesting, not only aesthetically, but it's going to be one big hunk of plastic. That that knee is going to be massive, man. So that should be very interesting. That's the first thing that popped in my mind when I saw these, is I, I think they look really good. I like all the different details they got going. I like the sleeve. I like the tattoos. They're toy edit guys. But I just thought that that was crazy how thick the, you know, the baggy pants look is. So that'll be really, really interesting to see how that comes to fruition when we get it in plastic figure form so that'll be really awesome to see but I just thought am I crazy you guys can let me know if you agree with that do you think like it's gonna remind me of like the the super boo sh figure arts when you bend that guy's knee like how thick that plastic looks and how crazy it looks when it articulates it's gonna be just the biggest knee of all time but nonetheless man I think that is all of the figure news that we have here for AEW action figures this is the main topic that I wanted to dive into and just sort of touch on and see where you guys are feeling it and not feeling it and all those different things, man. I would love to know all the things down in the comment section below. But AEW Unmatched Series number eight looks really awesome. I'm I'm really excited for it. I think it's going to be great. Can't wait to get those in there. And hopefully, I would imagine that these are probably going to be coming probably early January, if I had to guess, or maybe like late January. I don't know. I'm going to have to get a read on that. But probably going to be 2024. I don't see these guys hitting before we get to the new year. I mean, we have, what, 11, 12 days, something like that, before we get to the new year. I don't think these will hit before the new year, but hopefully they will hit in January because I'm, I'm excited for this wave, so that should be fun, man. But that is pretty much going to wrap up our AEW action figure news, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you guys so very much for watching, of course, and a huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate you fellas for all of your continued support. Love each and every single one of you guys, and I appreciate every single one of you from the bottom of my heart, man. But that is going to wrap up the video for today, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my damn toys. Subscribe to the channel and leave a like. Comment your thoughts on Unmatched Series 8 down below and all the figure reveals. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>